the challenger from Burton on Trent, Staffordshire, England, a 2020 Olympic bronze medalist, now undefeated as a professional with eight wins, one draw, six of his eight wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Fraser, the Eraser Clark. Well, here comes Fraser the Eraser Clark lighting up Riyadh. It's a huge fight for him on Saturday night, a much anticipated rematch with Fabio Wardley. And if it's half as good, a quarter as good as the first fight, then my goodness, we are in for some fight on Saturday. One of the best fights that we've seen so far this year. And I'm delighted to also now be in the company of a man who's got a huge fight on Saturday, Mr. One Smack Massey. How are you? I'm all good, mate. All good. Glad to be here. You know, uh, didn't have to do much in there tonight. You know, all the hard work's done now and uh, ready for Saturday night. So just a little shake out, just a little touch around with Joe. And, uh, you know, like I said, all the hard work's done. Will you take a moment to take all of this in? Because this is pretty amazing. This whole Riyadh season, all, all the events, all the fight week, it's a lot. It's amazing, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, this is what it's all about. It's, it's changing boxer over here. And, you know, back home watching on telly, it's nice to come over here and experience it myself and see what it's about and be on one of, you know, one of the biggest cards in history. So it's, uh, yeah, it's great taking it all and soaking it in. It's, uh, it's a good experience. People talk a lot in Boxing Jack about the ability to persevere because you never know what's around the corner. It's sometimes, you know, stories like that, the, the power gets taken out of them. But with you, it's really true because things just weren't happening through no fault of your own. Nope. You rolled the dice against Joseph Parker. You yep. then had to wait a while after that. Yep. But now, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's not just in the boxing career as well. It's in, in life, you know. Before the Parker fight, I had the worst year of my life. Outside the ring and inside the boxing, it was... Uh, you know, felt like I just had the carpet swept beneath my feet. I was just like, wow. I was laboring from my brother on a scaffold inside, freezing cold, snowing. I was like, Jesus, you know, what's happening? And then on the scaffold inside, I got the phone call for the parking fight. And it's just been, you know, skyrocketed from there. It's just been big fight, big fight, big fight after that. So it's, uh, you never know what's around the corner. Do you feel like that experience against Joseph Parker? stands you in good stead here because people talk about you know, Oppenheimer being a big puncher but you've been in with a full-blown heavyweight and that's a performance that's aged really well too yeah. you've been in with a full-blown heavyweight and you coach you cope well you want some rounds yeah absolutely you know he's he's I don't think there's anyone in the cruiserweight division what can punch as hard as Parker you know there might be guys what are a bit of better, better timing and faster but punching power doesn't come any close and look what he's done to you know the big guys you know after after me you know he's put them to bed and uh, put them to sleep so I took his best shots and, and give it me all and it's yeah, it's put me in great stead for this fight. opatai has got a big reputation he's getting a lot of hype people are saying he's number one in the world do you have to drown all of that out have you just got to focus on, on you and not listen to people saying about how amazing he is yeah listen you know what people get a little bit excited and it's, it's one of those things, he, he is a very, very good fighter to watch, you know, you look at him fight, he's very, very good, you know, people can say that away and say, look, you know, he's not really fought anyone, you know, he's looked great against your, your, your Zorros and your Thompsons and Breedis might be over the hill or whatever, but you can see watching him, he's a very, very good fighter, but that's, listen, I've got a job to do on Saturday night, he's just, just an opponent to me, so, uh, yeah, don't really let it get to my head too much. What, what do you think about this one? Got Fraser Clark in the ring at the minute. It's a rematch. It's a British and Commonwealth title fight at heavyweight. It was an absolute epic at the end of March. And yeah. we've been talking all week and we'll continue to talk all week about who can make the adjustments. Yeah. I mean, how do you how do you view it? I don't know. I can, I can sort of see Clark pulling it off. I've been thinking about it. I think, I think Wardley might go out and try and do the same thing where he's going to try and make it the same fight as the last one. But I think Clark's going to be a little bit smarter than that. And try and try and you know stay out of his way and box and move a little bit and be a little bit smarter in the ring. So I think Wardy will try and drag him into it at times, but he's just got to be a little bit smarter and not not be pulled into that to that dog fight what the last one was. Thank you, Jack. One smack, Massey. We're going to let you go. Thank Best you very of luck much. to you Cheers, on Saturday night.